Hey everybody, you at Sixty here, and welcome to part eight of my Pokemon Emerald adventure. In this episode, we are going to be fighting the Rustboro gym leader Roxanne. But before that, we're going to be battling her um, little minions. Okay, so let's enter the gym. Talk to this guy; he'll just give you advice about gym. He's in every single gym. Alright, so, yeah, he just tells you gym leaders aren't pushovers. Okay, I'm coming. I give you it. She's usual rock type. Rock type are very durable, but can't stay on water type and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Alright, so you can actually, um, go, I think it's this way. Yeah, you can go this way and actually skip all the trainers. And right up there is a double battle, but in my case, I prefer to battle these trainers just to gain some of the extra experience. Uh, I want potato in because I need potato to get some uh, more experience. So don't take it. Don't take us gym leaders lightly, or gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Yeah, whatever. Geico's gonna come in and save him a whole lot of trouble. Get it, Geico? Money. Yeah. Youngster Josh would like to battle. He sends out Geodude. Level 10. I think this is the strongest Pokemon we've ever fought so far. Anyways, switch out to Geico here and deal the most amount of damage and just take him out. Yeah, so Tackle didn't do anything. So I'll just absorb that thing. I'm going to absorb the moisture out of its pocket. So yeah. Geodude is now down for the count. Anyways, so who cares? So woohoo! Alright, so you head up here and you can actually do a double battle, which is pretty cool. In Ruby and Sapphire, there isn't a double battle right here. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Okay, so. Alright, so you can actually go heal before this, but I'm actually not going to because I'm pretty confident I can win, which I know I'm going to fail epically. Anyways, I recommend you save right here, just on... Okay, so after you save, you can battle the gym leader. Um, sorry about that. I'm actually going to start out with Trico, just to see how much damage I can do. Yeah. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Pokemon, or er, Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader that I might apply to learn Pokemon. Anyways, I'm talking fast. Could you kindly demonstrate how to battle and with which Pokemon? Um, okay, so Roxanne's party consists of three Pokemon, two Geodudes, and a Nose Pass. Nose Pass is, well, Nose Pass, that's the first time you're going to see one. Okay, so both our Geodudes have um, Tackle, Defense, Curl, Rock Throw, and Rock Tune. So you can just absorb these things, water gun it if you have um, mud kick, or um, double kick it if you have combustion or whatever. So you one shot, one kick. Whoa! All right, so same move set for this one. You just gotta watch out for that defense curl because that will raise its defense. Which if you have absorb, that doesn't matter because um, wait, I think absorb is a special attack. Anyways. So that's two down. Next is Nose Pass. Nose Pass has Block, Harden, 
rock or tackle and rock tune. You have to watch out for block though, because block will prevent you from switching if you need to. So yeah, nose pass does its cool little hoppy hoppy de dance, and you can just start taking this thing out. Anyways, it has a massive, it has a pretty nice, you know, defense all around. Anyways, so yeah. This is the signature move that each one of our Pokemon knows. It's a rock tomb. It's a rock type move, and it can lower your speed. Or it always lowers your speed. I don't know. Anyways, so her nose pass has an orange berry, which I kind of, yeah, see, since my speed fell. Now I can't escape, so I can't switch up to Stock Ock, which that wouldn't really matter. I just hope I don't die in this, you know, like battle, because. That won't be good at all. Not at all. So she uses a potion and restores her little nose pass. If you guys have already played Platinum, I have to say some one thing about Provo Pass. Provo Pass is cool. They almost look like a stone Mario. It's like awesome. Anyways, I might check something right here. I'm gonna check and see. I forget if um absorb is a special attack. I think. Anyways, um yeah, I'm not really kind of like a you know. Anyways, yeah, she'll use another potion. Another potion. So yeah, this is where the leopard berries may come in handy if you didn't heal before this battle, which I probably should have because I'm running out of swords. Anyway, she just starts tackling you. Boom, and you know what I'm going to do just to take this thing out with pride? I'm going to quick attack it. Come on. Oh, wow. I knew that was going to happen. Didn't do anything. Don't use quick attack or any normal type move because it won't do a thing. Ooh, Tackle's really doing stuff. Anyways, that's the fight with Roxanne, your first gym leader. Now you have the boulder... Boulder badge? Yeah. yeah I think it's the boulder badge. Pretty sure. Anyways, yes, Geico leveled up. And guess what? It's trying to learn Pursuit. Anyways, we're going to delete a uh, pound for pursuit because quick attack is better than pound. We learned pursuit. So woohoo, we defeated Roxanne. Stone badge, that's what it is, not the bully badge. Okay, and Geico is evolving. Oh my gosh, no way. Yay! Geico is now a Grovile, the second stage of Trico. Okay, and then it tries to learn Fairy Cutter, which doesn't do crap, so I don't really want it. Yeah, we get the stone badge. And this is going way over time. It's already 10 minutes, 10 seconds long. Alright, so you get TM39, which contains Rock Tomb. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna end this earlier. So, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. And see you guys in the next battle, or the next video.